Hey, what's up? Good morning, guys. So, as the title suggests, today I start tuning uh, my 2015 Ford Focus ST with a hybrid turbo on that good old corn stuff, okay? E85 right here. So, basically, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to put four and a half gallons of uh, E85 in my fuel tank. I've got about a little bit over half a tank right now, so I'm going to put four and a half gallons in, and then I'm going to fill the rest up with 93. That should bring me to about um, uh, a 30% ethanol content in my uh, in my gas tank, and then I'm going to go do a data log. Uh, just so you know, I do have full bolt-ons with a Turbo Bay Hybrid Turbo, and I'm being tuned by Alan Jackson of Edge Autosport, so I'll keep you guys tuned and informed with what's going on. All right, let's get started. All right, y'all, so I've got about four and a half uh, gallons of the 85. We're gonna go ahead and button her up and then uh, go around into the car and load up the uh, E85 map or the uh, E30 map. All right, guys, so I had to run back to the house to uh, uh, pick up my GoPro, but um, the E85 is in the tank and the uh, new map is loaded. And we're ready to go. One tip I was given about uh, when you're about to data log with E85 or running an E85 tune or an E30 tune, uh, as I should say, is that you don't want to right away get on the car. You kind of want to drive it around just a little bit so that the E30 and the 93 octane gasoline kind of mix together um, so it becomes a better mixture. Uh, so, you know, drive a couple miles uh, before you just go ahead and go uh, um, wide open throttle. Uh, especially when you're still tuning now when you've already got a tune and everything you're probably good but you know when you're just tuning so anyway ready to go let's go data log and uh see how the first uh the first base map feels Alright y'all, so I just did my first pull with the, uh, the new E30 tune from Edge Autosport on the base file. Um, I know it's just a base file, but I want to, you know, educate some of y'all that, um, you know, may be thinking about getting into e, uh, E85 as far as uh, tuning and whatnot. Um, you know, some rookies like me who, uh, who've been 93 this whole time, basically... Um, with E85 or with ethanol, you're going to see a lot less knock. All right. Um, you're going to see, you know, if the tune is right, you'll see like no knock. So as you can see on cylinders one and three that get the hottest on this car, there's no knock. All right. And I went from, uh, about 3000 RPM all the way to a little bit over 6000 RPM on that pole. And there's no octane correction. And I went to uh, just about um, 23.5 pounds of boost. So, so yeah, it's uh, let's let's keep let's keep on cranking up the juice. Hey, what's up, guys? So I just wanted to show you the difference in power between the E30 tune on my hybrid turbo and the um, 93 tune. Now both of these tunes are by Edge Autosport and just before we get into the details, both of these tunes were done on the same, both of these data logs were done on the same stretch of road, same car, same driver in the car, everything is the same and around the same weather temperature as well. Um, and we're at sea level over here in uh, Maryland. So the red graph makes 336 wheel horsepower and 399 foot-pound of torque. And the blue graph makes 315 wheel horsepower and 356 uh, foot-pound of torque. So that's just going from 93 to um, a uh, ethanol mix to make E30. Um, I, would, I would call that a pretty considerable jump in power and torque as well. Um, so yeah, I just figured I'd show you guys 
Uh, this is as objective as I can get. Unfortunately, I don't have access to a, uh, a real dyno. Um, plus, that's really expensive. But, you know, V dynos are good for just showing comparisons as long as you are keeping the car and, and as many of the factors the same as you can. So. All right, guys, so I just want to say I'm super happy and super satisfied. The tune is finally complete. So the Hybrid Turbo Focus ST now has a thorough tune on 93 and on um, the E85 Mix E30. So uh, I'm, I'm super happy. Uh, thank you, Alan Jackson of Edge Autosport. You are the man, your infinite patience and wisdom. All the questions and late nights of me asking questions and being concerned over the car. But uh, honestly, man, you turned this thing into a beast. So thank you so much. Huge shout out to those guys over there. Huge shout out to Panda Motorworks and Melee Design Firm uh, for the parts and the fast shipping. I am super stoked with how this car has uh, has turned out. And um, it's, it's really impressed me and it's impressed everyone that has uh, ridden in it and, and knows about it. Uh, I've said this before and I'll say it again. I don't think you can beat the price per performance that you get with a hybrid turbo um, on ethanol if you're going to stay with the stock fuel system and uh, the stock motor. Uh, the big turbo guys that, are, that have built engines and everything like that, obviously you make way more power, it's way more potential, but at uh, you know way more cost. If you want a daily driver that's fast, that's going to beat most things on the street or keep up with most things on the street, you cannot go wrong with a hybrid turbo and a, um, ethanol tune. Uh, right now I'm sitting at about 340 wheel horsepower and 400 foot pound of torque, which is amazing. Absolutely amazing for a car this size, front wheel drive, hot hatch, um, you know, and that'll beat the brakes off of most things, you, you know, you just run into on the street. So I love it absolutely i love it once again huge shout out to alan jackson edge autosport all you guys so uh you know where to find me keep in contact i'll be doing more mods you know the modding never stops all right find me on facebook youtube instagram okay all right guys thanks for watching